Thank you, Madam President. Civicus and the Eritrean Movement for Democracy and Human Rights welcome the Special Rapporteur's report and engagement with the mandate. Eritrea's government remains one of the world's most repressive. It has no independent civil society organizations, media outlets, imposing severe restrictions on freedom of expression and opinion, peaceful assembly, association, and religion or belief. Eritrean forces have also been implicated in violations in the Tigray region of Ethiopia. Both the High Commissioner and Special Rapporteur report a lack of progress and still the government remains unwilling to address grave violations and abuses. This is particularly concerning given that Eritrea is a member of this council. Human rights violations in Eritrea continue unabated, including arrests, incommunicado detention and enforced disappearances. The indefinite national service continues and involves torture and forced labor. In late 2020, Eritrean forces indiscriminately attacked civilians in Aksum in the Tigray region, killing and injuring many, and destroyed property, including healthcare facilities. We call for an immediate independent investigation. We urge the Council to adopt a resolution renewing the mandate of the Special Rapporteur and a mandate reporting on the role played by Eritrean forces in Ethiopia's Tigray region since November 2020. We ask the Special Rapporteur, in the continued absence of engagement by Eritrea, what other avenues for international pressure could be leveraged to engender progress? Thank you.